A million dollar question is, was it a million dollar wedding? No, absolutely not. I'd never spend a million dollars on a wedding. It, it was ridiculous. Like oh, thank you, you're sweet. Um, no, it wasn't. 500,000? No, no. No? No. 250? I'm not telling you, you know, I'm not telling you. One, because even my daughter doesn't know, so I wouldn't even dream of talking about it. She's but it wasn't a million dollar wedding, but it was everything she dreamt of. How much does a million dollar wedding planner cost? He gets a percentage of what we spend. Oh, well. And that's how it was kind of set up, really. Did the two of you ever bump heads? Um, not really more than that, but I did. At times, you saw I was exasperated. He kept, you know, he wanted everything to be so kind of large and extravagant. And we had this idea of doing something really beautiful at home. And at home, done. Well, I know it's beautiful, but you know what? A yeah. barbecue. Why shouldn't she have exactly what she wanted? It was a wedding Was it game. exactly what she wanted? No, I think it was what she wanted. Stop trying to create trouble. Yeah. You've got enough bloody <laughs> drama going on here. Well, no, no, it was what we wanted. I have to ask about the tiara. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. The mother of the bride in a tiara. Did you, uh, I mean, when she came out in the tiara, did you think, oh, my God? Mm, I think it suits her, a tiara. Oh, <laughs> well, it does. Were I mean, you caught off guard by the tiara? Um, I've never seen that before. But, I mean, you know, everything was sort of I, over the I top. I don't think I was caught oh. off guard. I mean, once a princess, always a princess, right? <laughs> For the past five years, Adrian and Lisa have been neighbors. But this season, the two weren't always so neighborly to each other. Let's take a look. Adrian? Lisa and I are probably polar opposites. So you ready for your cooking lesson? Oh, please. I love to be in the kitchen. Oh my God, this is boring. I can't stand to cook. I think with Lisa and Adrian, we have two queen bees that are very competitive. For the past several months, I've been working on my shoe line. So watch out, Malufu. The Vanderpump is on its way to kick your ass. I'm upset because Lisa didn't come to me for her daughter's engagement party to stay at the pond. And my feelings are hurt because of Vegas. I wish you would have asked me first. I'm sorry about the bachelorette party, but I do have a lot of dodgy relatives coming in at Christmas. Maybe she'd like to host that. I would have preferred that she said, made a mistake, next time I'll support you. That wasn't the answer I got. So, Kyle, in your blog, you wrote, the tension between Lisa and Adrian is a case of there's more than meets the eye. What did you mean by that? Um, shouldn't you be asking one of them? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, I don't, you know, I said I think this is a case of there's more than meets the eye here. Well, what is it then? I think there was tension between you guys. Am I wrong? Well, I, I think remarks were made that might have been misconstrued, and, um, maybe I thought that they were hurtful, and... What, what did um, she say that hurt you? Well, she was, she called my dog a crackpot, and that's not nice. That's my dog. I love my dog. Um, oh, this was on Twitter. Yeah, They on started Twitter. saying, oh, yeah. Jiggy and Team Jackpot, yeah, and I was like, you her a I said, oh, crackpot, don't look for something but, that but, isn't but, but there. That's not nice. To me, it wasn't nice. That that's was like my child. Yeah. I want to talk about the incident with mm -hmm. Pandora's bachelorette party. Uh, Deborah from New Haven said, Adrian, you were right to be hurt by the bachelorette party news. Did it bother you that it was at a competing casino or that Lisa didn't bother to tell you ahead of time? That you didn't bother to tell me ahead of time. Even if I hosted a lunch or a dinner for them, I would have loved to. I've always done that for my friends. So when I heard from somebody else that you were going, of course it's going to hurt my feelings. I didn't have anything to do with Pandy's bachelorette. Nothing. Nothing. I find that difficult to believe. Why? Because you planned half of her wedding. Pandy didn't want to do it at the Palms. She wanted to do it at Planet Hollywood. Adrian, in your blog, you said you were disappointed to hear Lisa's, quote, snide remarks and classless comments. What comments were you referring to? The Maloof Hoof. And, and the reason I say that is because when you've worked hard to get to where you are, and it's my business. If I called um, Villa Blanca... <laughs> Villa Caca. <laughs> I mean, really, would she like that? Would you like that? Of course not. Yeah, but it, 
it was just a play on words in the interview, something I know, but cute and... I mean, I'm sorry, but that's a joke. I didn't but think that was hurtful. But the rule of thumb is not a joke. I if I started was making mean. fun of Villa Blanca or Sir, you no, would have No, but the rule of thumb was cute. The band of pump. Mean. Huh? I thought it was a mean comment. I'm what, sorry, what, Lisa. The rule of thumb and the yeah, band I pump. I didn't think it was that funny. Okay, well, just sorry. the maloof hoof. I, I, I thought say, the I thought the maloof hoof and the van because hoof is not a nice connotation. No. If it was well, something I'm a little sorry, sweet, but I it? thought that but was cute. Have you seen the Vanderpump? No, and I have. Uh, unless she's wearing it now. No, Giuseppe's a naughty. Are you wearing? Yes. A yeah. Yes. This is. Me. And I love them. I mean, one hundred percent. Pump oh, sounds awesome. much nicer than yeah. hoof. It does. I like hoof. Hoof is cute. It's a little fat shoe. It's cute. Sick. There you go again. A little fat shoe. What so you, I, you've compact. just offended her again. No, oh. Why is a cute little Don't shoe? I, you fat said a little shoe. fat this shoe. Is an awful, oh, a little, little shoe. compact cute shoe is uh, is cute. I don't think you would call this a little fat shoe. I think it's beautiful. I've already told you. I said I want the pink one. I've already told you. I don't Not have the pink one. The other pink one that you showed us at Kyle's house. No, it's nude, but no. All right, it's nude. Okay.